Also new for you tonight, the first of a two part series while you're out and about and enjoying uh, the summertime, the sun, the beach, all those good things. Something unexpected though could be lurking pretty close by. Yeah, we do not like to hear this. We sent Eyewitness News reporter Caitlin Francis and photojournalist Eric Bundy to Cape Cod to find out why we're seeing more sharks off the coast and what scientists are discovering about the increase in sightings. So just, just on the other side of here, I've encountered multiple sharks. You have? Yep. You know, eight, ten feet of water. Like while you're just out working? Yep. The last one I encountered was in under eight feet of water off the beach, just on the other side. Kelly Zimmerman has been a captain for Got Striper Fishing Charter out of Chatham, Massachusetts on Cape Cod for six years now. And early on, people who went fishing with Captain Kelly would catch big striped bass. Not so much now. As the seal population has increased, and I, the more seals that I see, the less of those big bass are sticking around. He's right. The seal population has increased noticeably, thanks in part to the Marine Mammal Protection Act of 1972. Oh, there's a seal right behind your head. And that's like normal now, right? It's the norm, for sure. With more seals comes more sharks, most notably great white sharks that average about 15 feet in length. And just look at all of the seals we saw sunning themselves out on the sandbar off of Lighthouse Beach during our trip to the Cape. And if you see these guys, chances are sharks are also somewhere in the water, likely riding the waves close to those sandbars right offshore. Marianne Walsh, Education Director at the Atlantic White Shark Conservancy and Center in Chatham says, we're seeing a successful conservation story and signs of a very healthy ecosystem from the bottom to the top. You know, even though the white sharks are at the top, everything in our ocean is connected from the tiniest little plankton, you know, to these large white sharks, to, you know, the humpback whales that we have off our coast. They all play in together into that ecosystem and into the health of the ecosystem. But for beachgoers, that could mean more danger in the water. And that's probably because white sharks like this, they're truly top predators. The Atlantic White Shark Conservancy specifically studies the Northwest Atlantic population of sharks. While they're rarely seen in the waters of Connecticut, sightings in Massachusetts are way more frequent. The group is working on public safety and education to keep us well informed on the Great Whites and where they are. Using spotter planes and a research boat, they've tagged around 250 white sharks and now track their movement up and down the East Coast. How do you even go about trying to tag a white <laughs> shark? Like, how does that even work? So you have to find the shark. The shark has to be in the right area of the water column. And then they are going to use a tagging pole to deploy that tag. And it gets stuck into the muscle of the shark right next to the dorsal fin. They just launched a really cool new type of tag. It's called a cat's tag. That's the orange thing you see right here on your screen. It records video for up to 48 hours from the point of view of the shark. Scientists are hoping to learn more about sharks' behavior this way. Just last year, there were 117 shark sightings in Cape Cod waters. The group tagged their first white shark this year, just last week. And coming up tomorrow here on Eyewitness News, what you need to know about sharks if you're heading to the beach. There's some really fascinating ways to find out just how close they are. In Chatham, Massachusetts, I'm Caitlin Francis, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.